Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Wise Up and in my past few videos I've spoken a lot about writing research papers with the help of AI tools. But when I was speaking to some research students, they told me that they still don't feel very confident in using AI tools for research writing. So in this video, I decided to deep dive into one such amazing AI tool, PaperPal, and show you all the different functionalities that it has to offer, which can help you for research writing. After this, I'm sure you're going to feel a lot more confident in using this AI tool for your research writing needs. So without further delay, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do whenever we sit down to write a research paper or an academic essay or even begin our research is to choose a research topic. Now usually to choose a research topic what will we do? We will either go on Google Scholar, read papers or ask our professors to give a topic to us. But you won't believe nowadays AI tools can help you in choosing a research topic. So here what I'm going to do is log into my PaperPal account. After that, I am going to go under templates and choose the brainstorm feature. And now I am going to type here, can you give me topic ideas on super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. And within a few seconds, Paper Pal is going to generate a bunch of topic ideas for me. And because I belong to this research field, I can tell you for a fact that some of these topics that have been generated by PaperPal are absolutely brilliant. And otherwise, it would have taken me at least a month of literature survey to arrive at these topics on my own. Other than using the brainstorm feature for generating new topic ideas, you can also use it to ask an advice, understand some research methods or improve your research processes as well. Now, once you've zeroed down on a topic, the next thing to do is conduct a literature survey. Now, while you're doing your literature survey, there are high chances that you can get stuck somewhere. So here also you can use the help of PaperPal to ask research related questions and get science backed answers. For instance, in my research, I'm not sure if nanoparticles can be used to generate super hydrophobicity or not. So what I'm going to do is in PaperPal, under the research option, I am going to type this question. Can nanoparticles be used to create super hydrophobicity? Okay, and I'm going to search this. And can you see within a few seconds, Paper Pal is going to have the answer for us. And if I go through it, it does say that nanoparticles can indeed be effectively used to create super hydrophobic surfaces as demonstrated by multiple studies in the provided context. So not only is it giving me the answer, but it is also telling me where exactly has it gotten these answers from. And if I want, I can further refer to these papers to get evidence and proof for this. In fact, if I don't understand a particular paper, then I can also use the chat PDF option. This option is available for all the PDFs that I've uploaded where the view PDF option is showing up. So all I need to do is open the paper and then ask my doubts, ask my questions and PaperPal will give me the answer from the paper itself. This can really help you understand the paper better and improve your literature survey process. Now, once you are done with your literature search process, the next thing is to start writing your research paper. Here also, PaperPal has a lot of different features for you. For example, under the right section, it can help you generate your literature review, conclusion, thesis statements, and even if you see under the template section, it can help you generate titles, abstract, keywords, etc. But here, my suggestion to you would be to not get too tempted by this and try to write the paper on your own. And this is where I feel a lot of students stumble because what they do is they try to generate all these paragraphs with the help of AI tools and then they later worry about the originality of their work. So here, what I would recommend is that you go under the right section put down all the information that you would like to include in your research paper in a form of a word document or a notes that you have prepared. 
upload this notes file here and then ask PaperPal to generate an outline for you. This outline will give you an entire framework of how your research paper needs to be written. And then based on these insights, you can build upon your own ideas and then write your research paper seamlessly. Now that you've written your research paper, it's time to make it look more academic and professional. For this, you can use the help of two features of PaperPal, which is edit and rewrite. The edit feature checks your entire document for language and consistency. It will make sure that your document is free of grammatical errors and the information flows smoothly. While with the help of rewrite feature, you can trim down a sentence that you've written too long, make your language more academic or even replace certain words with synonyms. In fact, while citing some of the content, if you feel you might have committed plagiarism, then you can use a paraphrase option to change the language in order to avoid plagiarism. Also, another great feature that it has is this cite while you write. So a lot of the times when we are writing our research paper, we want to provide certain evidence for our writing, which might not be present in our previous literature survey. So here what you can do is simply select the sentence and ask PaperPal to generate some relevant citations for what you've written. And immediately you can cite those papers from the internet that to in the citation style that you want. For example, RIS, JSON, BibTeX, etc. Now once you're done writing and are happy with the draft, it's important to go for a few checks to ensure that your document is ready for submission. The first check that we do is a plagiarism check to ensure that we have not committed any accidental plagiarism. So here what we're going to do is simply upload our paper on the plagiarism checker tool and then a report will be generated. Based on the results in the report, we can again use the help of PaperPal to either paraphrase content or cite the relevant papers in order to get rid of any accidental plagiarism. After that, we can also go for a journal check, which ensures that our manuscript meets all the criteria of a journal before submission. So with this, your paper will now be ready for submission. But writing a simple cover letter to the journal now can seem like a task. Don't worry, PaperPal can help you generate a cover letter within seconds. All you need to do is go under templates, choose email the journal and then click on write a cover letter. Here you need to enter some basic details and PaperPal will generate an amazing cover letter for you within seconds. Didn't I tell you this tool can meet all your research writing needs from start to end? Well, I hope you've now seen it for yourself. Now to get access to these features, you can go for their premium plan, either on a monthly or an annual basis, whichever suits your needs. Overall, it is quite affordable when you compare it with other AI tools in the market. I've also put a discount coupon in the description for you to save further. So everyone, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope this video has given you a lot more clarity about the use of AI tools for research paper writing. Now, if you wish to learn in detail how to write a research paper, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. Not only do I teach you section by section how to write a research paper, but I also share with you a lot more AI tools that you can use for your research writing. So to know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And now, thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.